guys from now on we will be filming in a different location say goodbye to this hall so we are just going to teleport into the balcony guys if you have followed this channel for a very very long time you must be knowing that um youtube had categorized my channel as comedy and i changed it to pets and animals today it's going to be a much more serious topic as you can see with the title it's the coronavirus what the heck is covid-19 we should ask ourselves this question first covid-19 stands for the coronavirus disease 2019 it's the name of a disease and it started in 2019 in a location called wuhan china the second question is what is the real name of the coronavirus the name of the virus is S A R S C O V I D 2 which stands for severe acute respiratory syndrome related coronavirus 2 now the next question we will ask ourselves is what are the parts of the coronavirus so the virus has the spike glycoprotein which is also known as the spike protein the blue parts the membrane glycoproteins which hold the spike glycoproteins the small envelope glycoproteins which are also known as lipid envelopes that is the reason you should wash your hands with soap for 20 seconds to fight off the virus because the soap will dissolve the fats in the small envelope glycoproteins which will weaken the virus then we have the nucleocaspid phosphoproteins somewhere here and the genetic material is also present over here can you see these red coils that is the rna the next question we must be asking ourselves is how does the virus infect you the virus spreads through mucus droplets in the air next the mucus droplets enter your nose your nasal cavities your nose leads to many areas your brain your tongue your lungs and your intestines the coronavirus gets into your intestines after that the virus has a little snack it feeds on your ace2 receptor cells which are located in your intestines billions of the coronavirus specimens now enter your lungs billions of viruses travel through your lungs your immune cells come to fight off this deadly thing but then the coronavirus has a scheme it wreaks havoc in your immune cells mostly it will infect your killer t cells and your neutrophils after this your immune cells will communicate with your other healthy cells to commit controlled suicide so now these healthy cells are destroyed due to the virus and your immune cells so your virus basically orders your immune cells to make your healthy cells commit suicide this leads to your lung tissue getting dissolved and this and the symptoms of covid-19 this causes cold cough and respiratory problems you get cold and cough so that you can try and dispose of the virus externally but then your respiratory problems are when the deadly things start so now basically death as i said this virus can kill you but not the virus not the virus alone that is because your immune cells get ruptured other external pathogens such as bacteria and other types of viruses the next point is not only does the virus spread through mucus droplets it also spreads through surface contact it mostly survives on most surfaces for either 1 second or 48 hours that is equal to 2 days the next way the virus can get into your body is person to person contact all right so person to person contact and surface contact so when a person sneezes mucus droplets right surface contact so when you touch your eyes 
nose and mouth which is basically just your T zone what happens is all these three areas lead directly to your intestines and you know what the rest happens right recovery yes if you do not die due to covid-19 you can surely recover your immune cells will manage to replenish themselves means your immune system will basically just repair itself from the damage it has done to itself and your other cells and because of this goodbye virus the next question we will ask ourselves is how to protect yourself from covid-19 to protect yourself from covid-19 all you need to do is just slip on a mask but what's the point of a mask do not travel outside in the first place right even if your country is not having a lockdown just consider the safety rules and stay inside your place only if you want to get essentials and everything you can go outside but there are precautions for that coming up when traveling outside to get essentials or anything follow the concept of social distancing what is social distancing you may ask it is basically staying away from people means having a distance away from people that distance is either 1.28 meters or 2 meters so please follow the concept of social distancing i'm emphasizing it for you so that you do not get the coronavirus use an alcohol based sanitizer to just sanitize your hands stay distanced from everyone even your own family this is because covid-19 can even spread without symptoms this is called asymptomatic transmission because the virus can spread through surface contact keep all your surfaces clean now because you're staying home to stay safe from the coronavirus what should you do cooped up at home well you can basically just do anything you can stay with your pets like my spiders do something creative like write a book do some stuff you've never ever done before means you had you never had the time to then you can watch youtube and even start a youtube channel and you can do other stuff as well and you can just laze around <laughs> like like my friends do and sometimes what i do is there a good thing about covid-19 even though covid-19 is very very deadly the answer is yes yes there is a positive thing about the coronavirus take a look at this from the biological perspective the many of the lakes which were polluted are now becoming more clear over the time because humans are now staying at home and not polluting the lakes the ozone layer is also repairing itself and that means that global warming is going down means the rate of pollution the rate of global warming is going down because the ozone layer of earth is repairing itself and that is an awesome thing so please stay at home the rare species of creatures are now finally coming out of hiding because they are scared of humans now most of the humans are staying home so now the rare species can thrive and come out and also there is a video on a rare species stay tuned for that the coronavirus is super deadly now is there a cure for covid-19 yeah please rejoice the coronavirus has a cure you're wrong fun fact viruses are resistant to antibiotics so what does this mean does it mean that you cannot have a vaccine for covid-19 no not at all how the vaccines work is basically um the vaccines make your immune cells very strong and your immune cells are the ones which fight off the virus not the vaccine itself so you cannot say that there's a cure for coronavirus because as i said viruses are resistant to antibiotics that is a true fun fact scientists have found many many ways how 
to um, basically make vaccines for COVID-19. But they are not using this method discovered by Louis Pasteur. So Louis Pasteur had made a cure for, means he'd make vaccines for anthrax, cholera, rabies, and a bit more. But his method is long forgotten. So what Louis Pasteur's method was, was taking the weakened forms of the bacteria or the virus, injecting it into the human, and that immunizes the human because the weakened form cannot, it cannot have any deadly effects on the human. The human's immune system will easily be able to fight this off. So if the guaranteed fresh and deadly form of COVID-19 or any other or any other pathogen infects a human, the human will already be immunized because they will know what to do. The immune cells will know it. Leave it up to them. But there are medicines to treat the symptoms of the coronavirus. As you guys know, COVID-19 is a pandemic. If it's a fast pandemic, then it will end very, very badly. If it's a slow pandemic, it will end okay-ish. Scientists want to make it a slow pandemic, so stay at home. What about the worldwide cases? The confirmed cases are 3.94 million. The recovered cases are 1.32 million. And the deaths are 275,000. To calculate the case fatality rate in a particular area or a country, you just need to divide the number of cases by the number of deaths, multiply them by 100% and you'll get the CFR. Here's a small wrap on the coronavirus. The coronavirus to China, it was endemic and it became a pandemic with the escalating fears and with deaths people shed tears. The virus is now spreading and consequences now dreading with uncleanliness in places makes people get sick faces. To stop this thing from spreading, please try social distancing and also be clean to prevent COVID-19. Stay safe, stay sanitized and most importantly, stay subscribed. This is ABSE signing out. Goodbye.